Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna talk about Team Deathmatch in Valorant. I'm gonna talk about what this game mode is, give you some tips and tricks about this mode, explain how this mode can actually help you improve in Valorant, and in the end play a game myself to showcase it. I want to thank Riot Games for giving me early access to this mode, I really appreciate it, and now let's start the video. So, what is Team Deathmatch? I think most of you out there know kinda what Team Deathmatch is, because it's in a lot of other games, but the Team Deathmatch rules in Valorant are a bit different than other games. So here are the Valorant Team Deathmatch rules in 30 seconds. Team Deathmatch is a 5 versus 5, where the first team to get 100 kills wins. The games consist of 4 stages. Each stage takes about 2 minutes, and you can play with better guns each one. The cool thing is that you can use your abilities during the games. Also, during the games you can pick up different orbs, these ones recharge your ultimate, this is for heals, and with these you get better guns. Um, sometimes I guess. Nothing against you, shorty. Team Deathmatch isn't played on normal maps, but on 3 different maps. District, Kasba, and Piazza. They kinda look like Split, Bind, and Ascendo. And that's it, that's Team Deathmatch. Let's go to the gameplay with life commentary now, give you some tips and tricks during the game, and after that I will share how I think that this mode can help you improve in Valorant. This trick, my friends. Okay, I think I think we can win a game now. It's my fourth game already. Oh yeah, this is my fourth game. I had to do three warm-up games because I completely got destroyed by everyone. Yeah, okay, I'm warmed up now. As you see, you start the game in like a safety box. Every time you spawn, you also spawn in the safety box. It's a good thing because now you don't get spawn killed every time. As you see down here, the abilities also work a bit differently. Your cooldown is literally in time and not in credits. Except for your ulti. That one you need to recharge with kills and orbs. It's a good start. I need to play a bit safer and slower. That's the first big tip. If you play this mode, it's not about getting as much kills as possible. In free for all, you want to get to 40 kills as fast as possible. It doesn't matter how much you die, rushing will get you rewarded because you get more kills faster. But not in this mode. In this mode, it's all about kill death ratio. If you get 20 kills in a game and you die 30 times, then your net points is minus 10. It's better to get only 12 kills and die 5 times, than get a lot of kills and die even more. So big tip, play safe and take your time. That's Embarrassed. And flash beam. Yeah, see? Abilities, abilities. Another tippy. When you start playing this mode, you're probably gonna forget your abilities a lot. That was my experience at least. But remember, abilities is very important in this mode. That's done. Like. Oh, nice shots, nice shots. At this point of the game, stage 1 is over and we go to stage 2. So instead of a ghost, I can now have a stinger. Yay. Not today, Mr. Lachlitz, not today. Also, be very careful with pushing too deep. When the enemies are just walking out the barrier, they are invulnerable for a few seconds. But uh, it was over for these enemies, luckily. Easy kills. I think I'm too deep already. Or not. Or not. Okay, now I need to heal. Okay. Ah, that's a good round. That's a good round. Also, am I the only one that hates the stinger? Luckily, with this mode, you can learn new weapons. Just a bit like Spike Rush, you know? There's a spawn is there. Ah, that's how you charge your ultimate. You need to walk through those things. Again, use your abilities. Very important in this mode. Flash. What? Oh, that flash saved my life so hard there. Another tip about abilities. There are definitely a few agents that are way better than other agents in this mode. Because some abilities are not that useful. An example is the Sage ultimate. I mean, you can use it, but you respawn anyway, so it's uh, kind of useless. Sorry, teammate over it. Lol, I, it's possible... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my friend. Anyway, back to the game. And we go to the next stage. Now we have a bulldog. What? Hey. Mm, Mr. Fleet. And now the final stage. Time to play with the Vandal. That's one. Oh, flash is OP. Okay, that was a bit too aggressive, but look at the right. Did you see those kills? Almost, my friends. Three more. Hey, oh. Well played. Let's go. Okay, now the big question. How can this game mode help you improve in Valorant? There are a few ways. The first one, in my opinion, the biggest one. This game mode helps you when you want to get better at the 1v1 peaking battles. These maps are designed for peaking. There are a lot of different corners, way more than the normal maps. And the good thing about Team Deathmatch compared to Free For All is that in Free For All, mostly you get kills when enemies are not looking at you and you get killed from the back. But in this mode, because both teams have set spawn points, most of the time you get 1v1 battles by looking directly at the enemy. So the better strafing and aim wins the battle. Occasionally you will get killed from behind by that one lurker. Yeah, nobody likes you. Ah. Kills 
where the heck did he came from? A second way how this game mode can help you improve in the normal games is that it counts as a very fun and good warm-up. I see you, you don't do your warm-ups. A lot of people are too lazy to do warm-ups. So this is a good and fun way to start the day. So my friends, I'm excited for this game mode. Big thanks to Riot Games again for giving me early access. And let me know what you think about this mode in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.